Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1111th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Traders, this video is being filmed on Tuesday Night for Trading Wednesday. That's December 4th, 2013. Remember, futures trading can be extremely risky and cause substantial financial loss. It is certainly not suitable for all trading accounts. All right, traders, let's get right into this. Where we left off last night was E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, Dow, training. We thought they would all go down. That is exactly what happened on Tuesday. And we've got a red omni for trading on Wednesday. So this video, 1,111, is for Wednesday the 4th, Red Omni in your E-mini S&P. So let's look at a couple of things. Where we left off last night, I showed you that the F flag was getting tested. And that was right here, so this day did not exist. And I showed you the F flag was going to be tested, right? A small pullback to come. Well, if we add today in you'll recognize that we got through the F flag. So now I want to do something completely different. Let's remove the F flag, gone. Let's look at this a different way. Traders, we've got a red omni and we are short or going short, if not already in the E-mini S&P and NASDAQ for the omni for the onset of trading Wednesday, right? No surprise there, we've got the red omni. But here's what I find slightly interesting and what makes me always worry when we've got a red omni in a big bull market like this one and no surprise to anyone that this is a big bull market right it starts all the way down here it works its way all the way up we know that that's bullish overall so taking short trades in a bull market i'm never comfortable doing but let's look at this since that f flag started here we call this the flag pole this is the f flag we've had several pullbacks this pullback lasted one day, and then we rallied out. The next time we had a pullback, it lasted one, two. On the third day, we rallied out. Then we had another pullback. It lasted one, two days, and we rallied out on the second day. Really, it's just one day. And same thing with this one. You'll see what I mean. This was really just one day down. The next day, it went straight back up. So you can almost throw a one over this. Then you have this pullback. You had rally, rally, pullback day, one day only. Forget about that two, it's a one. And then we rallied out. Then we had a one day, two day, three day pullback. And day four, we rallied out. We put in a brand new high and we had a one, two, three day pullback so far in the E-mini S&P. So, I'm absolutely worried with the red Omni, but Omni says sell, we sell, and that's that. Just wanted to point out that while we have been in this F flag, we've only had several pullbacks, and they've never lasted more than three days. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. We're going to find out tomorrow, but we're starting off with a red Omni and selling for the E-mini S&P and NASDAQ. So let's go look at another chart, traders. This very same chart I showed you last night. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and I said a small pullback could be coming, right? This bar didn't exist. Here's where we were in last night's video. Well, we had a pullback for sure on Tuesday, and it got right down to that trend line, exactly where we pointed out to. So here's the interesting thing. Because we know that this trend line was the bouncing ball, we hit it and dropped and hit it and dropped and hit it and dropped and hit it. But this time we broke out above it. Interestingly enough, in the form of a bull flag, that bull flag was broken out, rallied to the upside, and then we had this three-day pullback but it came right back down to the bouncing ball line. Ba-boom. So will it break here or will it hold? Very, very important day coming on Wednesday. Omni says it breaks because we have a red Omni. I'm no big fan of a three-day pullback in a bull market when every other pullback was no grander than three days, 
But we'll start off with our red Omni and we'll see where it goes. So the small pullback that was coming has happened. Maybe more will take place on Wednesday. We'll find this out tomorrow. But very, very interesting charts. Then we've got this, traders. And I know, I know, I know, I heard from 36 comments on my YouTube video. Oh, no, I know, I know. <laughs> Listen, I have called Tesla perfectly from the highs down to the break to 153, back up, down to the break to 120 to 118. Then we had this bear flag, which I showed you in last night's video. And I said the bear flag projects down here and then even further because long-term target, I have a 60. Then news came out and we had this massive rally and boy, did you guys go crazy on me. I have a question for you though. Where were you nut jobs when I kept making these fantastic calls? Not one of you came out and protected me. You guys went nuts today, but I get it. Here's what I have to say. That was a crappy call, my friends, and I take all the credit in the world for that crappy call. So eh, that was really bad to show this to you last night the bear flag because it didn't pan out but overall long-term view and you know in all honesty i never did say it was going to happen tomorrow but in all honesty we've got a 60 target in tesla now if this continues higher we'll talk about changing that target but what i'll bet most of you didn't notice is something very interesting see this little teeny gap right here it's going to be filled most likely on wednesday and this gap may be all that's going to happen before this thing fills it and dumps. Now, that may be the case. I don't know. Right now, of course, it's pointing straight up, as you can see from Tuesday's action. We had this massive day. But we've got a 60 call, which we're not going to change unless the market continues in the upward direction. Remember this gap right here. I'll write the words so that you do not forget it. Gap right here. Gaps get filled in charts, and then lots of times they turn around and go the other way. So I don't know that that's going to be the case here, but it's a possibility that this gap gets filled tomorrow, and then we'll see what happens with it. I'd like to think that, like any futures chart, the gap will get filled. The market will turn around after filling the gap and dump. That is what happens lots of times when a futures market fills a gap. So remember, you've got that gap from the bottom here to the top here. You left an open gap. You almost got up to it on Tuesday. Wednesday, you'll fill the gap. Will it go through? We'll find out. If it fails at the gap, that 60 target's probably going to look pretty good again. If not, we will make a reassessment of Tesla. But if we go back to our futures where we like to play, remember that this right here is what we will be looking for tomorrow. Will it hold? Will it break? If we get four days instead of three, if this turns out to be a four day, well, that's something new, right? That doesn't fit in this list behind it. So let's once again remove the F flag. Let's pretend it doesn't exist. We know that we're in a pullback as of the last three days. If this four does not pan out and it stays at three, likelihood is we go up tomorrow and stops get hit. If that three does become a four, something new is developing and maybe we'll head down a few days. I thought I'd point this out to you traders because I think it's pretty interesting information. Always remember, keep your emotions out of this game. The best thing you can do with keeping your emotions at bay is to place your stops, place them first. Come on down to livewithoscar.com, enter my free chat room. And always say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it'll help you with those emotions. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Traders, thank you so much. And remember, come on down to livewithoscar.com.